Welcome to our new lecture, The West Goodness in British Columbia, Canada. In this lecture, we'll be talking about this community. And something important to understand is that it's a collection of cities, towns, and villages in British Columbia. Among them, we can find Nelson, it's the Queen City of the Goodness, very famous for tourism, culture, and outdoor activities, and also being selected as one of the best places to retire in Canada. Castlegar is another of the cities, together with Salmon, Trail, New Denver, Rosland, Grand Forks, Castle, and other more. So these communities define the area of the south of the Trans-Canada Highway Number no. 1, from Riverstoke and including the valley of Slocan Lake and Kootenay Lake, and at least part of the Arrow Lake Valley, Columbia River as far south as the U.S.S. border. You can see the information about this region, very beautiful region in the mountains. And if you're looking for a place where you can hike, enjoy fresh air and lakes and waterfalls, then this is a paradise for you. We continue checking the information from BC. We have a regional population aged 15 and over of 123,700. The regional unemployment rate is around 11.4% and the total regional employment is 64,700. Here you have the regional district, Central Kootenay, East Kootenay and Kootenay Vandere with the different cities that compose those regions. And we have some key facts here that only a small proportion of busy population live in the Kootenay area. The Kootenay has the highest median age of all the economic regions, which means the need for them to bring international talent to work in the region. Unemployment in this region has considered being higher than the provincial unemployment rate. And of course, around the tens of all Kootenay jobs were in the other primary sector, like forestry, mining, oil and gas, fishing, hunting, and trapping. So if you have a work experience in forestry or mining and oil and gas, then this region will be ideal for you. Kootenay has a high number of jobs in good producing sector industry, the second highest proportion of any of the regions in the BC. We continue checking the information about the region. You can see here that in the age distribution, the majority of people fall in the 25 to 54 age range followed by the 64 and over uh, age. We check the employment statistics. We can see that for employment by region, Kenya is at the 75%. The unemployment rate compared to the rest of BC. And when it comes to the industry, you can see that the region accommodations and food services are high and also construction. So those two industries are high with 8.1% for construction and 6.0% for accommodation and food services. We can see also that healthcare is probably even higher with 13.1%. Manufacturing, mining and oil, repair personal and non-profit services, and of course retail and trade with 12.6%. So these are the main industries in the region that we can see. And here is the list of all of them and the proportion in the economy. Goods and services by sectors in all BC, and this is the proportion for Kootenay region. The service sector is abundance of mountain ranges of the Kootenay, including the Rocky Mountains. The region is a popular destination for people that like to ski and people that like to enjoy the nature. Tourist activities create employment opportunities in the accommodation and food service industry. So you have experience in food service industry, and tourism, then this region also may be beneficial for you. You can see also that most of the jobs are in the goods sector, like agriculture, forestry, mining, oil and gas, fishing, hunting, trapping, utilities, construction, manufacturing, and they have a big industry in coal mining, in hydroelectric dams also, and other interesting employment in utility industry. The 20% of the jobs are in new job creation by economic growth. And we can see that the employment outlook 
Uh, they expect that for 2019, 71,800. By 2024, that's going to increase to 74,100 jobs. And by 2029, the number is going to increase again to 26,900. They're going to forecast 10 year total employment growth of 23,900 in the in a 10 year forecast of employment. So, what are the top 10 occupations in the region? Retail and wholesale trade managers, NOC 0621, 760 job openings. Retail salesperson, 733 openings. Transport truck drivers have a good chance with 650 job openings. Janitors, caretakers, and building superintendents with 500 openings. Nurses, aides, other lines, and patient service associates with 490. Administrative officers for, with 480. Registered nurses and registered psychiatric nurses, 470. Heavy equipment operators, except crane, for, with 430. Light duty cleaners with 420. Technician and bookkeepers with 370. The top 10 industry, healthcare, retail, accommodation, business and building, information, culture and recreation, education and services, mining and oil and gas extraction, transportation and warehousing, professional, scientific and technical services, and agriculture and fishing. So this is the information about the city. Let's take a look at some important websites. We go to website, we can check the gogoodness.com and here you, if you like to travel, you can check its information about the event, the dining, the culture, accommodations, and other interesting things as a traveler that you would like to see. You have some links to blogs and also Facebook pages that you can check if we click in accommodations here, you can see the list of accommodations that are available in the region. And if you work in hotel uh, industry or uh, restaurants, then this is a list of potential employees that you would like to check. Okay. This is uh, important to use this website and get familiar with the main attraction of the region. So dining, if you work in restaurant, you'll be interested to see what they have in dining and you have a list of bars and breweries and places that you can find for dining okay here you have all the businesses you can check other websites too like the good night jobs if you're looking for a specific jobs here and and good night jobs uh, that jobs here you can find information for job seekers or employers you can search your old job posting you can create your profile and you can use the job seeker dashboard again this doesn't substitute the website for the pilot program but at least if you can find an employer there and they are not registered yet with the pilot program you can you know give the information so they can register and then give you a job offer and participate in the program but that's the way you can find a job in among the employers in the region. You have information for the job seeker here. You can post your resume. You have uh, questions also you can answer. Here you can find the job or you can register and probably when you register you can get the information about jobs in the region. You can have here the information from the employers. You can send the, the employers to this uh, link and if the employers can post job also. So there's so many ways you can use this website. Also, you can check another initiative here is for Kutney. And you can check here employment. This is for businesses, communities, success stories. You can check information, the statistics of the region, resources in the regions, the blogs. You can contact them and the industry sectors that you can check. If I check employment here, looking for a job. Then you have videos talking about the information in YouTube. You can follow it. You can browse the employers. You can check employers here. You have information posting about for employment resources of employers. And then they go to employment centers. These are the main 
job boards that they recommend to use here for the region and also other resources that you might check education also they have a college of the rockies that you can check that college another college that you can check again in the region if you're planning to study in canada then you can might try these uh, colleges as choices especially if you're interested in living in the area this is a good source to see also you can check the website the west could they go and do you can like you can send messages you can contact them they have posts they have photos they have videos and all the information you might need about the region make some friends in the region check some videos make some contact okay and follow other places related to the region so it's a, it's a good way to get your job too and also you can check this west could need jobs it's a group it's a public group you can join the group ask some questions probably find some employment opportunity so i highly suggest you to do it they have some career fair that you can participate or might be interested and learn about these opportunities you can find jobs here in the group just join this group and you'll be able to contact employers through the group all right so I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.